Andrea. We are here uh, actually in the news center. We decided there was a great view outside, but decided to come inside and, and talk with uh, Elliot Harik. He is uh, a, a Boeing engineer, and he's helped work on the uh, uh, some of the tools you can see in front of us here uh, that will be used by the SCS 126 crew on uh, on, on their four spacewalks, as right. Andrea said. All right, let's start off. What is this? This is what we call a trundle bearing assembly, or TBA. We've actually got it open right now. But uh, when it's installed, it'll be in this configuration. And the crew will be uh, replacing 11 of these trundle bearings. That's right. So there's 12 on the, on the Sarge, and we replaced one earlier in the year. We'll be getting the other 11 of 12 on this flight. And what is the trundle bearing assembly? What, is, what does it do? So the trundle bearing assembly is uh, what rolls on this piece of hardware, what we call the race ring. So this piece, actually, if you can give me a hand. Sure. The gear teeth go in here. Oh boy. I didn't do really well with shop, so. <laughs> so when it's, when, it's, when it's installed and it's closed like this, um, you can see there's gear teeth here. There's a motor that drives this. And uh, this whole ring rotates around continuously in 360 degrees of rotation. And that's what moves the, uh, the, that's the right. solar alpha rotary joint, and that's, that's what correct. helps the track. Okay. So there's apparently not enough lubrication that we, uh, on, the, on these charges, and uh, we're going to take care of that with these. That's right. Pieces so. Of hardware. So uh, one of the main efforts for the flight is to uh, clean and lubricate the starboard Sarge, which is the Sarge on the right side, which is the one we've been seeing some, uh, some issues with over the last year. So they're going to clean uh, this outside service we call the OD45. And you can see here on the trundle bearing again, there's these three rollers, which are the three rolling services that made up against these three surfaces. So OD45, Inner45, or ID45, and then what we call Data May. So they'll be cleaning and lubricating this, and then they'll also be going out to the port sarge, which is the sarge on the left side of station, and lubricating that one as well. And that's more preemptive than anything else. Yeah, that's what we call a recurrence control, just to make sure that whatever issues we're seeing on the starboard, we don't see on the port. And this looks like you'd have it, you find, and I'd use it at home, huh? Pretty that's gun. right. Yeah, it uh, looks a lot like a cock gun, right, when you're laying tiles down. Yes. And uh, I think that's where they got the idea. But uh, so this is a cartridge of uh, space-rated uh, vacuum grease. And that goes in here, and they pull the trigger, and comes out this end, and that's the tool they'll be using. And the grease is called brake coat, and it's it, uh, right. one of the things, the characteristics of it, it's, it does, it's not very flammable. It's so no, it's that, that's correct. It's it's uh, appealing for this application. One it has a proven history as a space-rated grease. Um, part of that is that it can withstand uh, the harsh environments of space, meaning vacuum and, and really large temperature extremes, and still maintain uh, the functionality that it's needed as a grease. And so. and. Based on all of our experience to date so far, we found that this would be a better solution. That we think this will actually take care of the, the problem with the solar alpha rotary joints and allow us to be able to use them both so, sides effectively. So we have a lot of confidence that putting this on the port charge is going to prevent uh, anything bad from happening. And uh, we're not, there's, we don't expect that the starboard charge will ever be able to return to full functionality. But we think that between the cleaning and lubricating, um, we'll be able to restore some of what we've, some of the capability that we've lost over the last 12 months. And that allows us to obviously get more electricity and, and right. power up uh, yep. more labs and the six-person crew. Yeah, exactly. We're, we're good for now and we're good for the near term, but uh, this will definitely give us some cushion when it comes to, to expanding the capability of the space station. And we do have some other long-term solutions that will take actually uh, another couple years to work out, but this is our short-term fix and they'll mm -hmm. do it on the STS-126 mission. That's right. All right, Elliot, thank you uh, for joining us. Eric, thank you. Eric from Boeing. We're going to go back to the uh, Launch Control Center, Andrea Thomas, with an update on launch activities. Andrea?